looking at. We hope to understand how Key Week evolved. Nestled deep within the heart of the Amazon rainforest, beneath the dense canopy and the shroud of centuries of secrecy, lies a groundbreaking discovery that has left the world in awe. With cutting-edge technology, scientists unveiled a civilization lost to time. Experts from around the globe are now converging to decode the secrets held within these ancient ruins. Could this newfound civilization rewrite history as we know it? Join us on an expedition like no other, as we embark on a thrilling journey into the depths of the Amazon rainforest and unravel how a LiDAR scan has recently discovered an unknown civilization in the Amazon. Amazon's Overview Spanning over 40% of South America, the Amazon is a remarkable natural wonder. It hosts one of the most diverse ecosystems globally, teeming with life. With an astonishing array of around 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, and 3,000 fish species, the Amazon Basin is truly a biodiversity hotspot. Countless other animals and insects make their homes here, contributing to this lush fabric of life. Nestled in the heart of South America, the Amazon Basin is surrounded by the imposing Andes Mountains to the west and the Brazilian Shields to the east. The mighty Amazon River, the region's lifeblood, flows for an astounding 6,400 kilometers, from its source in the Peruvian Andes to the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean. This winding river and its intricate network of tributaries create a complex web of waterways that crisscross the entire region, serving as a vital lifeline for the millions of people and animals who rely on the Amazon for their very survival. The Discoveries of an Unknown Civilization Intriguingly, in the late winter of 1992, Michael Heckenberger, a curious American anthropologist, embarked on an unexpected journey to the Mato Grosso region of the Amazon River Basin in Brazil. His initial purpose was simple, to spend quality time with the indigenous tribes in the area, not to unearth a scientific marvel. Little did he know that this whimsical vacation would turn into a life-altering adventure. By January 1993, Heckenberger found himself living among the Kukuro tribe. They recognized his thirst for knowledge and showed him something extraordinary. The tribe's chief led him to an enormous ditch, a remarkable archaeological enigma. The ditch, 6 to 10 feet deep and over 30 feet wide, stretched for more than a mile, and the earth concealed a treasure trove of pottery fragments. Heckenberger's inquisitiveness could not be quenched. He canceled his vacation plans and embarked on an official investigation of the site. This decision would prove to be pivotal. As he delved deeper into his research, Heckenberger unearthed a hidden world, a vast network of earthworks and ancient sites scattered throughout the region. Astonishingly, some of these sites dwarfed the contemporary indigenous communities in scale and complexity. Questions began to brew in his mind. Who had inhabited these sites in the past, and in what numbers? Heckenberger's spontaneous decision to explore that initial ditch had ignited a profound mystery, an archaeological puzzle that would take him on a journey of discovery, unearthing the secrets of an ancient civilization that once thrived in the heart of the Amazon. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Heckenberger embarked on an ambitious quest to unravel the secrets hidden beneath the Amazon's dense canopy. Over a decade, from the early 90s to 2003, he meticulously mapped and excavated sites throughout Mato Grosso, revealing a lost world of astonishing complexity. His findings, published in the prestigious science journal, were nothing short of astonishing. Heckenberger had unearthed not just one or two, but a staggering 19 settlements scattered across the region. These settlements, each positioned every two to three miles, were not isolated entities but connected by roads wider than a modern four-lane highway. What made this discovery even more extraordinary was that these roads formed an intricate grid, meticulously planned and aligned. Yet, there was more to the puzzle. In the spaces between settlements, Heckenberger uncovered evidence of careful land management. Orchards and agricultural fields emerged from the shadows of history, hinting at a deliberate and sophisticated use of the land. 
As Heckenberger aptly put it, nothing is unconnected. The whole bloody landscape is connected. Estimates hinted at these settlements housing a population of 2,500 to 5,000 people. Carbon dating suggested their existence between 800 and 1,800 CE. These numbers rivaled the size of contemporary European cities, challenging preconceived notions about the Amazon and the civilization that once thrived there. Heckenberger's work had unveiled a lost world of breathtaking ingenuity, hidden within the heart of the Amazon. However, the puzzle deepened as Heckenberger pondered how these settlements had remained hidden despite the steady stream of explorers and archaeologists in the region. He offered a straightforward explanation. The inhabitants of these ancient communities had constructed their homes using mud brick and wood, not the more enduring stone which was scarce in the area. In the Amazon's tropical climate, these materials decayed rapidly, their traces gradually swallowed by the earth. It was a subtle vanishing act, one that eluded the notice of many. Had it not been for the guidance of the local chief, Heckenberger might never have embarked on his transformative journey of discovery. His work revealed a startling truth. The region had once teemed with far more people than previously believed. Yet, this revelation was just the tip of the iceberg. Simultaneously, as Heckenberger delved into his research, another enigma began to unravel further complicating the narrative and adding layers to the growing mystery. Alceu Renzi's Discovery In a parallel tale of discovery, another remarkable journey unfolded in 1999. Alceu Renzi, a Brazilian paleontologist, found himself soaring over the state of Acre, a thousand miles west of Mato Grosso. Beneath him, the landscape revealed a tantalizing mystery of vast earthworks etched into the terrain, seemingly a message from ancient times. Ranzi's connection to these earthworks stretched back to the 1970s when, as a young geography student, he was part of a team led by researcher Ondemar Diaz. During this time, as the Amazon rainforest was gradually yielding to the encroachment of agriculture, Diaz and his team documented these mysterious earthworks. However, their significance remained largely overlooked. Moving to 1999, Ranzi had risen to prominence as a respected scientist. The sight of these colossal shapes etched into the land from his airplane reignited his passion for the ancient mystery. The desire to uncover their secrets burned within him. He felt an imperative to delve into their history, to unravel the story they silently whispered across time. The journey had come full circle and Ranzi was poised to shed light on these enigmatic earthworks, to reveal their ancient origins and significance. Within a mere year, Alcio Ranzi's quest led him to the remarkable discovery of dozens of enigmatic earthworks scattered throughout the Acre region. These formations, known as geoglyphs, came in various shapes and sizes. Circles, diamonds, hexagons, interlocking rectangles, and more. Their diameters ranged from about 300 to 1,000 feet, and they were outlined by trenches, some plunging as deep as 20 feet. What truly captivated the imagination were the grand earthen avenues that led to many of these geoglyphs, stretching a remarkable 165 feet wide and half a mile long. Ranzi's conviction that these geoglyphs were massive human creations from a distant era beckoned experts from around the globe to descend upon Acre. By 2010, their collective efforts culminated in a groundbreaking report published in the prestigious Antiquity Journal. Their revelations were astonishing. Over 200 geoglyphs were found, extending across an astounding 150 miles, forming an interconnected web that spanned from Bolivia in the south, through Acre, to the Amazonas state in the north. These geoglyphs were linked by straight roads, painting the landscape with the appearance of a vast geometric grid etched into the Earth's canvas. The dating of these enigmatic designs ranged from as early as 200 CE to as late as 1283 CE, long preceding the arrival of Europeans on the continent. This revelation shook the foundations of conventional wisdom, debunking the notion that the Amazon had never been home to significant populations. Instead, researchers estimated that the region may have been inhabited by a staggering 60,000 people. The exploration of these mysterious geoglyphs was far from over. 
Interestingly, one lead researcher in candid interviews boldly stated that they had merely scratched the surface, estimating they had unveiled just 10% of the secrets concealed in the Earth. Another researcher, speaking to National Geographic, echoed this sentiment, emphasizing the inexhaustible nature of their discoveries. It's never-ending, they exclaimed with the fervor of pioneers charting an unknown land. As anticipated, the years following 2010 bore witness to a relentless quest for more answers. Week after week, new structures materialized, pushing the boundaries of understanding. By 2015, the count stood at 306 geoglyphs, proof of the perseverance of those unraveling the ancient enigma. In 2017, the number was nearing a remarkable 500. The LiDAR Scanner Interestingly, in the late 2010s, archaeology witnessed a transformative leap forward with the advent of a groundbreaking technology known as light detection and ranging, or simply LiDAR. Imagine an aircraft equipped with a powerful tool that fires a dense grid of infrared laser beams, hundreds of thousands each second, towards the Earth's surface below. As these beams bounce back, they create an intricate web of data points, enabling the rapid digital mapping of the terrain. In essence, LiDAR unveiled the hidden face of the Earth, bringing forth its archaeological secrets. Nowhere did LiDAR shine more brightly than in the Amazon, where the dense jungle had concealed ancient wonders from sight and made on-ground exploration a formidable challenge. With LiDAR, the Amazon could be digitally deforested. This innovative approach allowed researchers to virtually strip away the jungle, unveiling vast tracts of land in a matter of days or even minutes, which would have taken years using traditional methods. Suddenly, the hidden treasures of the Amazon were unveiled for the world to behold. Discovery of the Casarabe Community a group of intrepid scientists embarked on an extraordinary adventure in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. Armed with advanced LiDAR technology, they ventured into the ancient savanna forests of southwest Amazonia and Bolivia's Lanus de Moris savanna forest. The mission? To unravel the secrets concealed beneath centuries-old layers of towering trees. To their astonishment, the LiDAR revealed a hidden world the remnants of detailed settlements crafted by the Kasarabi community between 500 AD and 1400 AD. The archaeologists meticulously documented their findings, which soon made headlines in the renowned journal Nature. Heiko Primus, one of the co-authors and passionate archaeologists, marveled at the mind-boggling complexity of the discovered settlements. They were unlike anything seen before, boasting intricate structures and detailed buildings concealed for ages. These cities boasted marvels like five-meter-tall terraces spanning a staggering 22 hectares, an area equivalent to 34 football fields. Adding to the wonder were conical pyramids soaring to heights of 21 meters, standing tall amid the forest. Their investigations spanned a vast territory of 4,500 square kilometers in the Bolivian Amazon, known as Nanos de Mayos. Once inhabited by Casarabe culture, this region revealed an extensive network of reservoirs, causeways, raised pathways, and checkpoints, stretching for kilometers across the site. Perhaps most surprising was the challenge to the belief that the Amazon rainforest had always been untouched by human activity. The discoveries suggested a history of early urban development, meticulously planned and maintained by indigenous communities for thousands of years. These remarkable discoveries shed a spotlight on the enduring human presence and the dynamic role indigenous communities played in shaping the Amazonia region. A key fascination lies in the realization that these ancient urban settlements were not in conflict with nature but instead lived in harmony with it. The Kasarabi culture's settlement approach showcased a distinctive form of low-density urbanism deeply rooted in tropical agriculture, an unparalleled find across the expansive tropical lowlands of South America as emphasized by the researchers. What sets this apart is the ingenious use of effective and sustainable survival strategies by the indigenous populations. These strategies not only fostered their prosperity, but also safeguarded the environment, preserving its rich wildlife diversity. 
Dr. Iriad emphasized their firm belief that this specific area in the Bolivian Amazon once hosted some of the most advanced ancient societies in the entire Amazon basin. However, the dense forest cover had long hindered physical exploration and the gathering of tangible evidence. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, a team of intrepid archaeologists embarked on a groundbreaking expedition armed with cutting-edge LiDAR technology. As they launched the scans over the dense canopy, their world was forever altered. The digital landscape unveiled a sprawling, intricate civilization hidden for millennia. The LiDAR scans revealed colossal pyramids engulfed in thick vegetation, intricate road systems crisscrossing the jungle, and sprawling urban centers with enigmatic structures. The ruins were evidence of an advanced, lost civilization that predated known Amazonian societies. Excitement spread like wildfire, drawing the attention of the scientific community, historians, and adventurers worldwide. A team of experts and explorers embarked on an unprecedented journey to uncover the enigma of this newfound realm. As they delved into the rainforest's depths, they unearthed secrets shrouded in mystery. Intricate carvings adorned the forgotten temples, telling stories of this ancient civilization's rise and fall. Astonishingly, they discovered evidence of sustainable agricultural practices, intricate aqueducts, and advanced artistry. However, danger loomed in the form of treacherous terrain and lurking predators. Each day brought new challenges, but the relentless pursuit of knowledge fueled their determination. They forged connections with indigenous tribes, blending ancient wisdom with modern technology to unlock the Amazon's hidden past. The Amazon's new chapter captivated the world, igniting imaginations and renewing hope for the discovery of other lost civilizations. The LiDAR scan had not only uncovered an unknown world, it had rekindled humanity's thirst for exploration, proving that the Earth still held secrets yet to be unveiled. What do you think about the LiDAR? Please do share your thoughts on this edge-cutting technology in the comments below. Discovery of Geoglyphs In 2018, a monumental breakthrough unfolded in Brazil's Mato Grosso region, where Michael Heckenberger had earned legendary status for his tireless groundwork over decades. Researchers, armed with cutting-edge LiDAR technology, embarked on an expedition that would rewrite history. Their LiDAR scans revealed a breathtaking 81 geoglyphs nestled near the border of Bolivia and Brazil. From this treasure trove, they selected the 24 most intriguing sites and commenced excavations. Beneath the surface, they unearthed a mesmerizing fabric of interconnected road networks and expansive farms. These intricate pathways meandered between grand, fortified villages perched atop mounds, each harboring vast plazas and causeways. As they delved deeper, they uncovered remnants of pottery and sacred burial grounds. What set this 2018 discovery apart was its remoteness from major rivers, challenging conventional wisdom that these civilizations clung to riverbanks. Instead, the evidence painted a vivid picture of a sprawling, continuous network of settlements extending deep into the dense Amazonian jungle. Armed with this newfound knowledge and existing data, researchers constructed a computer model that estimated the region's population. Astonishingly, the model pointed to a peak population of between 500,000 to 1 million inhabitants. This revelation shattered existing population estimates for the Amazon and transformed our perception of the civilization that thrived there. Mato Grosso was not an isolated case. The tide of discovery surged elsewhere. In Acre, where hundreds of geoglyphs had already been uncovered, LIDAR served as the final piece of the puzzle, unveiling the mysteries concealed within the intricate lines etched on the Earth's surface. In a groundbreaking 2020 study published in the Journal of Computer Applications in Archaeology, a new layer of mystery was unveiled. The geoglyphs and villages discovered on the Earth's surface were revealed to have an astonishing organizational pattern. They all revolved around circular mounds interconnected by a network of roads, radiating outwards like the markings of a giant cosmic clock. This intricate design led researchers to consider a mind-boggling possibility, that the layout may have been a deliberate representation of indigenous beliefs about the cosmos. It was as if the land itself were a canvas painted with celestial symbolism, 
proof of the profound connection between the ancient people and the universe they inhabited. The revelations in Mato Grosso had already reshaped our understanding of the Amazon's ancient inhabitants. However, the findings in Acre elevated the narrative to a new level. The enigma of how they had engineered this intricate grid, similar to an artwork visible only from the heavens, left researchers astounded. As these questions swirled in the minds of the scientific community, another stunning breakthrough loomed on the horizon, promising to further unravel the enigmatic history of the Amazon's past. Two colossal urban centers discovered. The remote Llanos de Mojos region in Bolivia, nestled in the southwest corner of the Amazon basin between Acre and Mato Grosso, held secrets shrouded in thick jungle and obscurity. While on-site archaeological investigations had uncovered curious features such as towering mounds that soared up to 70 feet above the land, and a labyrinth of extensive causeways and canals, this territory had long remained in the shadow of its more explored neighbors. It wasn't until 2022 that the hidden wonders of Llanos de Mojos burst forth, captivating the world of science. Heiko Prumers, a dedicated archaeologist, led a team from Germany, the UK, and Bolivia, and their groundbreaking findings were published in the prestigious Nature Journal. Through the lens of LiDAR technology, Prumers and his team unveiled a staggering 26 unique settlement sites within the region, and among them, two colossal urban centers, Landivar and Kotaka. These centers were a revelation, each organized around a monumental core featuring vast raised platforms crowned by towering conical pyramids, encircled by three concentric rings of defenses and rampart fortifications. These urban marvels eclipsed anything previously discovered in Acre or Mato Grosso in terms of size and sophistication. Yet there was more to this astonishing revelation. Surrounding Landavar and Kotoka stretched an intricate network of smaller settlements, spanning 200 square miles. These settlements were intricately connected by a web of roads and causeways, forming a vast fabric of human activity. Woven throughout this network were countless canals and reservoirs, evidence of an advanced hydrological system that could have skillfully managed the region's water supply. The significance of these findings was profound, shedding light on an ancient civilization's ability to not only survive but thrive amid a challenging and lush jungle. In stark contrast to previous discoveries in Acre or Mato Grosso, where smaller settlements were somewhat scattered, Llanos de Mojos unveiled a sprawling urban landscape. It was a harmonious fusion of grand city centers and surrounding suburbs, a unique form of tropical, low-density urbanism hitherto unseen in Amazonia. This was an uncharted civilization of grandeur, where pyramids soared to dizzying heights of 20 meters, defying all prior expectations. Heiko Prumer's words captured the astonishment felt by the research team. Nobody expected that kind of society in that region, pyramids 20 meters high. The whole region has been so densely habituated during the pre-Hispanic time, that's incredible. There is a new civilization, a new culture waiting for us to study them. This revelation had profound implications, challenging the previous underestimations of Amazonia's population. Primers emphasized, We can now see that general estimates for the population of Amazonia have been too low, much too low. But everything about these sites, the scale of the large settlements, the reservoirs, the defenses, the sophisticated infrastructure, points to large populations. The question that now loomed large was just how large these populations might have been, a tantalizing mystery awaiting further exploration and revelation. The Population of the Amazonia Civilization the revelation of a previously lost Amazonian civilization has sparked a whirlwind of inquiries among countless researchers. As they diligently crunch numbers and explore diverse models, estimations of this ancient civilization's population continue to astound. Today, the most cited estimate suggests that at its zenith, the Amazon may have been inhabited by anywhere from 6 to 9 million people. Some argue it exceeded 10 million while audacious thinkers contemplate a staggering 20 million. To put this in context, when Francisco de Orellana embarked on his Amazon River expedition, Spain's population was merely 6.5 million. 
These population estimates have shattered preconceived notions, evolving from thousands to tens of thousands, and now, astonishingly, to millions. One can't help but wonder if these numbers will further swell in the years to come. Heiko Prumers, brimming with optimism, foresees this likelihood, stating, I'm sure that in the next 10 or 20 years we'll see a lot of these cities, and some even bigger than the ones we are presenting in our paper. In the wake of these revelations, the long-established scientific narrative stands officially and definitively debunked. A massive civilization indeed thrived in the Amazon, aligning with the accounts of Francisco de Orellana from the 1500s. Yet this triumph is tinged with an ambiguous shadow. What fate befell this grand civilization? Why did subsequent explorers fail to discover its remnants? The prevailing answer leans toward tragedy, an intricate tale of ecological upheaval, disease, and the inexorable forces of history that concealed the once vibrant civilization in the depths of the Amazonian rainforest. Depopulation of Amazonian Inhabitants The arrival of Europeans in South America unleashed a silent and devastating force. Diseases like smallpox and influenza. These pathogens wreaked havoc on the indigenous populations, who had no immunity against these invisible assailants. It's estimated that between the 16th and 18th centuries, these diseases obliterated a staggering 90% to perhaps even 99% of South America's population. With this backdrop, the mystery of why no grand civilization was discovered unravels. The population of this once thriving civilization, numbering in the millions, was swiftly decimated within a mere few generations. As people vanished, the relentless jungle encroached upon their territories, gradually concealing their once vibrant cities. These cities, constructed predominantly with mud brick and wood rather than stone, succumbed rapidly to the relentless forces of time and nature. The evidence of their existence faded away, hidden beneath the jungle's embrace. By the time European explorers delved deeper into the region, a century and a half after Orellana's initial journey, they were greeted by silence and overgrown landscapes. There was nothing tangible to unearth, leaving them with the erroneous conclusion that the civilization had never existed. In truth, it was a story of a vibrant civilization erased not by myth, but by the tragic, unintended consequences of contact with the outside world, Terra Preta, the magical soil. The revelation of large pre-European populations in the Amazon prompts a captivating question. How did this ancient civilization sustain millions when modern science suggests that Amazonian soil can't support large-scale agriculture? The answer to this puzzle lies in a fascinating enigma known as Terra Preta, a discovery that not only elucidates the mysteries of the Amazonian civilization, but could also revolutionize our world today. As far back as the 19th century, scientists and explorers embarked on a mission to catalog the existence of a peculiar dark earth in the Amazon. This Terra Preta, or Black Earth in Portuguese, differed starkly from the typical orange-yellow Amazonian soil, not only in color but also in its remarkable fertility. The knowledge of Terra Preta first gained prominence in the Western world through a vivid 1879 account penned by the explorer Herbert Smith, which graced the pages of the popular Scribner's monthly magazine. Smith marveled at the lush cane fields, boasting stalks as tall as 10 feet and as thick as a person's wrist, all flourishing thanks to the magic of Terra Preta. Despite these incredible observations, Terra Preta had largely evaded in-depth investigation. It was almost seen as a myth rather than a reality, a perplexing anomaly that hinted at Amazon's untapped secrets. However, the significance of this fertile black earth lay dormant, waiting to be fully comprehended. A treasure trove of ancient wisdom capable of illuminating the paths of both history and agriculture. In the mid-20th century, when scientists finally turned their attention to Terra Preta, they stumbled upon what can only be described as magic soil. It wasn't just fertile. It held secrets that defied the norms of Amazonian agriculture. Within the enigmatic depths of Terra Preta, scientists unearthed a rich fabric of organic matter, remnants of plants, animal feces, and bones, alongside minuscule pottery shards. But what truly set Terra Preta apart were its seemingly mystical components. 
It boasted extraordinary concentrations of low-temperature charcoal residues teemed with vital nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, and zinc, and hummed with an abundance of microorganic activity. These qualities merged to create soil with mind-boggling properties. In a region where nutrient depletion plagued the soil due to relentless rainfall and leaching, Terra Preta confounded expectations. It remained fertile generation after generation, a stark contrast to the woes of conventional Amazonian agriculture. Modern chemical fertilizers could hardly maintain crop yields past the third growing season on regular soil, but Terra Preta held the key to enduring fertility. The enigma deepened as Terra Preta displayed a life of its own, a remarkable capacity for self-regeneration. It expanded like a living entity, transforming barren earth into bountiful ground. A biochemist from Cornell University marveled at the anomaly, emphasizing that in this environment, according to textbooks, this soil shouldn't exist. Yet, even with all their modern tools and knowledge, scientists remain mystified about the exact processes through which indigenous communities crafted terra preta. The secret recipe to this Amazonian elixir of fertility remains elusive, a tantalizing riddle that scientists are avidly striving to unravel. Terra Preta stands as proof of the ancient wisdom and environmental stewardship of the Amazon's long-lost civilization, leaving modern science in awe of its enduring mysteries. Meanwhile, in recent years, substantial investments have flowed into the quest to unravel the puzzle of Terra Preta, and the implications are staggering. It holds the potential to rescue our modern world from various challenges. Consider this. If scientists can unlock the secrets of recreating the super-fertile Terra Preta, we could elevate crop yields worldwide, especially in regions struggling with poor, infertile soil. The beauty of this solution is that it doesn't rely on toxic fertilizers, offering a sustainable path to feeding a world where over a billion people currently face food insecurity. In addition, Terra Preta boasts a hidden talent. Its high charcoal content can capture significant amounts of carbon from the atmosphere, contributing to efforts against climate change. Yet what irks modern science is that the Amazonians knew how to craft Terra Preta, and they did so in vast quantities. As the veil lifts on more Amazonian settlements, Terra Preta consistently appears, suggesting it might blanket as much as 3.2% of the Amazon's floor. In essence, the ancient Amazonians employed Terra Preta as the cornerstone of their sprawling civilization, allowing them to nourish a population in the millions. But Terra Preta's significance stretches beyond agriculture. Today, modern scientists are on a relentless quest to unearth the secrets hidden in Amazonian Terra Preta soil. If they succeed, it could revolutionize our contemporary world. However, this soil is only one of the Amazon's long-lost secrets. The rainforest conceals more treasures, awaiting their rediscovery to enrich our understanding of both the past and our future. Do you think modern scientists will unlock the secrets beneath this Terra Preta magic soil? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.